Okay. We're still going to try this again. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Shauna, and this is Ringing Like Crafts. I apologize for how long it took me to get this going. Um, anybody there? Okay. I might be having the same problem. Hi, Teresa. Um, I hope I said your name right. Can't see with them, can't see without them. Anyways, I am Shauna. This is Ring of Light Crafts. I do apologize for the last video, how long it took me to get back on here. Hi, Johnny. Um, I, my system went crazy. I don't know what happened to the computer. But I just painted my living room. Well, we painted the living room. And we painted it this call. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it, Teresa. Am I saying your name right? Hi, Melissa. Thought I never get back on. <laughs> um, so I paint my living room this color in a darker gray. So I have two gray walls and two walls this color. It's a little dark. I do love it. Uh, I'm not complaining about the color. But I am a type of person that have to have color. No, just the gotta be color. So. With that being said, hopefully I can keep following the comments because I can't see them too well. I started this. Excuse me. Let me lower this. Watch your eyes, guys. Sorry. So I started this. Do you guys remember when we did these? Uh, we did them with the foam. This is one that we did. It used to be a utensil holder, so now it's like a vase. Uh, and I put the foam inside of it, and then um, it rises so far up, pretty far actually, it did pretty good. And then I just took some old leaves, well they're not old, well they are old, I had them for a while. Some leaves and stuck them in there. I just cut them and stuck them, absolutely no pins, no none of that, just simply jammed them in there. And then I did what I was taught in school with the five, five flowers. And what I mean by that, is as you can tell uh, my, my top flower is in the middle and it's supposed to be somewhat your highest okay but if you go like this oops you can't really see me try it with the other one if you go like this they're pretty much going to be equal in length as they come out so this will semi match this if not pull it out just a little and make it work for you and then the same will go on this side and since I want this round, I have one on all, well, it's round, so all five sides is what it will be, full size. I have one here and here. So I have a triangle all the way around, basically, is what it looks, would be considered a triangle. Let me scoot this one in just a wee bit. And my leaf's in there. I got my triangles in there. But now... Because I really want some darker orange and clothes and like that in there. I almost, I might, here's my other one. We're going to add some purples and some yellow. We're going to make it more of a fall arrangement. Minus the ribbons and stuff like that. Since this is my own home, I just want it to go, oh, down a coffee table. Small enough to fit between the sectionals. Um, that is small enough you can actually physically get around it. Not like the big one I had. Um, although I put that in the back room. Um, I paid, ready for this guys? Amazing, I keep telling everybody, it's totally amazing what you can find at a thrift store. Um, I found an old coffee table at a thrift store and it is an old coffee table. I'm trying to lower this down so I can see comments. I'm just not having any luck. I'm not going to mess with it because I'm going to have problems with my computer. Um, this coffee table has to be back at least from, well, it's old, but not older than I am. So back in the 70s, maybe, maybe that fall back. Um, so I really liked it. My daughter told me, Red told me, Mom, buy that. It's perfect. I'm like, no, I can't do that. You know, I got one waste of money. What am I going to, you know, the whole scenario that you put putting through your head, 
every time you think about buying something. Well, I go back the very next day because I want a coffee table. <laughs> so I actually got this old fashioned coffee table. Well, old of me. Um, and it's still the rough looks and everything. I didn't paint it. I'm not going to change it. I thought about it, but I'm not going to do it. At least not until I get want more color in the room. And I just love this coffee table. And I pay 15 bucks for it. And it's gorgeous. I love it to death. So I figured let's make, and it's not huge. It's so decent size, but not huge. So I figured I'm going to make a pretty arrangement to go in in the center of that coffee table because I don't have a lot of brilliant colors yet. I still need to buy my orange petals and stuff like that, you know, brightening it up with the um, cocois and just make it work. So this is what I decided to do. We're going to go ahead because I promised red I would bring in orange. So we got our color, our, our flowers baseline started. I want it round because it will, the shape of, well, of course, coffee table. It's going to go in the center. So, I already pre-cut my flowers. And then you may have to go back. or well, I may have to go back. And just recut them in different shapes or different sizes. Because a lot of them are almost the same size. And if you want them to adjust around in a circular form is what we're trying for. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take, I got my five. So now we're just going to go ahead and start. I hope you guys can see this. I do need to get me an icon. So where my triangles is, I'm going to go ahead and add one right here in the middle. See if I can get that go down there. And remember, these are all fake flowers, so you can always adjust them. You put it where you want it to be. So now we got like a roll of three. So once again, there's your uh, roll of throat. So it's, um, go ahead, we'll turn it to the other side. And we're just going to add one here. I just really, really, really want this orange to pop. And then we'll go ahead and go back around again. Add one here. Come on. Sometimes it's stubborn. There we go. So we got our threes on those three. And our last one will go here. And I'm going to take the longest out of the two I got left. Yeah, I just got two. Okay, so we're just going to add this one right here. And that just kind of gives you that little round section here. And now you can always squish them because, remember, it is fake. So you can make it work for however you want it to be. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a fill. I'm going to take my one odd and just set it out of the way so I'm not tempted to use it. Because I already got my sections for this flower in there. Um, as far as the leaves, you guys, I just poked them in there. Um, remember, I don't know if I already said this, but I didn't use any type of pins or any of that stuff since this is just my own. And plus, I don't have one of those machines, but I would use the ties like in a forest and a little sticks. Okay, so now we got all these little colors in here. Here's my other ones. They're hiding away from me. You bring them over here. We're going to go ahead. We're going to start adding color to it. I think I will go ahead and start by adding yellow. Now, these other little flowers, you can just go ahead and start adding any places you want flowers to be, which I'm going to use them in the empty spots. So we got one there. Let me go ahead and turn it to our next little spot. And since I did not count these little guys, this one has a double one on it. I'm really, really hoping I actually have enough of them to go around. If not, well, then we'll figure it out, right? It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be pleasing to you. So we'll put one right there. I think that's actually a different type of flower, but it was in the same bunch. So we're just going to use it. Nope, we don't have to. Yeah, because I don't like that one. Toss that aside. We're going to use this one. There we go. That's the same flower as the other one. 
get that little baby in there and then we're going to turn it back around we're going to get the other side just going to add one right here right now i'm just going in between there it is the flowers that have already been in there i am trying to keep them the same length all the way around there we go and i think i got all three let me make sure oh nope there's my fourth okay so then i'm going to put my last of this flower right here okay and because there we go we got our last little flowers in there now what we're going to go ahead and do is pull these ones so i can actually physically see them is i have some of these beautiful flowers this one actually looks like it's in bad shape but it won't show let me show you a prettier one there you go i have some more orange pretty flowers so where we already put the little one here on the bottom i'm just going to fill it in with the last of these orange ones underneath those give it whoops once again i want to keep that same round look so if you can't get it in the same size you guys tear it down cut it do what you have to do to get it in there i just have to find a spot that i can stick it in there we go and see if we can get it to go past whatever's there there we go and just put that right in there so you guys kind of see it is keeping the round shape which is definitely what we want and we can just kind of readjust that one to the center of these two and now we turn it here and what we did there we're going to do here we're all going to use this messed up flower because like i said it's just for me nobody will know it's messed up and I say, watch this, huh? So we'll go ahead. Oops. Sometimes when you cut them, they split, you guys. But you don't want it shorter than that. Feel free to just snap that off. And then we're just going to stick it right in between the two yellow on the bottom, which was a part of our original triangle. Let me load this just a wee bit more. Okay. So we got that one going now. So now we got the two. We're we'll gonna go ahead and turn it around. And right between these guys will be our third flower. Just gonna stick that right in there. Oops. Sometimes it just doesn't want me to give it a flower, I guess. And we can keep them all the same. And then we can go ahead, take our last. We got two. I'm going to take the biggest of the two. We're going to set the little guy over there. We're going to take this bigger one. We're going to set it right here in the last section between the bottom flowers. And put it right about there. So now we do have a round shape. But it's still just one, pretty much one color, maybe two. And we're going to add some other colors in there just to make it kind of pop. Now, when you start adding other colors, you guys, um, if you don't want them to be the same, you want to give them the little extra length, go ahead. And if you decide you don't like it, you really want them all to look like a round ball, put that circle in there. It's okay. The base of the triangle, or the cross, if you will, going across the top, was just all pattern. And all pattern is basically telling me it's going to be round, and I really don't want anything way up here and way squished in there. You want it to kind of just all flow together. So if you have a little oddballs like these are, and you want them to stick out, feel free to do that. You know, it's okay. They don't have to be all the way in there. So that one only has one. I got a few of them that have twos. Let me see if that's the only one with a one. I got two with a one. So I'm going to go ahead and just take those two out. I'm going to go ahead and add the two. This would be more of a filler to hide those extra spots that really don't have much in there. So you see, just kind of stick that right in there. And we're going to go ahead and go around. So I got one in between. Well, it's two because it's a two, two flower. Got one there. We're just going to go ahead and kind of, now we're just going to eye it. Just because one's there doesn't mean one has to go here. So I'm going to put it here. Just kind of throw it off a little, right? I'm just going to stick that in there. Look, that little guy kind of got pushed down. We don't want him pushed down. 
And now we might just go right over here. And we're just going to add this little guy right in here. Maybe. Oh, yep, we can right there. It's so slippery. I should have something underneath this to work with. And you can make it with the little ones on the bottom, the shorter one, the long ones on top, however you want it to be. At this point, this is just basically the fun part. You just go around and you put them wherever you want. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put this little guy right in here. And I may not like him now. Let me see. I got one here. There. There. You know what? I'm going to take them out. Tell you why. I have only one of these towards the top. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring this little guy towards the top. I know you can't see me. Turn this around. I'm just going to stick him right in here towards the top. Give it that little color on top there. So we still have a lot of empty spots, but we got a lot of flowers. And if we need more, I have a lot over there, so we can just use them. So we can go ahead now. I got some of these blue ones, so kind of long. We can go ahead and just stick these wherever you want to put them, you guys. I'm just going to put one here. And notice I don't have it facing up. I kind of made well, it would come down just a little so it was face down. So instead of going up like that, I want it to look like it's natural, which it would be falling down. So we'll go ahead and put one on that side. We'll just stick one right about here on this side. Damn it. And if there's a leaf there, you guys, and you can't find your base, just spread them apart. Get your base going and just fill that in. There we go. So now we got another one here. I'm gonna go ahead. You know what? I have a, I'm gonna turn this around for you guys. I have a big empty spot here. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this little puppy right in there. And once again, I'm gonna have it kind of falling. So we got a few of these long ones in there. And now I got a big empty space right here. I'm turning it around so you guys can see. Big empty empty space. So what we're going to do is go ahead and let's fill it. I got like two more of these. I think one. Oh, that's a different color. I got one more of these. Okay, so since I only got one, we're going to put it right about in the middle, just so that it kind of evens out and shows that there's this flower may be here, but it's also on all the sizes. Just so we have that little extra sticking out there. So I guess you could put a ribbon in this if you want it. And now I do have these little guy. Oops. What's my purple ones? We're going to use all the purple ones. Set that out of my way. We have a couple of different purple colors that we could stick in there. I wasn't going to use those, but you know what? We're going to because I have it's bigger than I thought it would be. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add these. These are pretty much more the color of my living room anyways. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to add these in our little extra spots here. Go right around and stick those in. Stick them wherever they need something at, okay? So there we go. We kind of got that in there. And then we're going to turn it a little and try and... I was standing here a lot of years ago, guys. I'm sorry. I can't just forget that. So, we're just going to try to place some of these flowers wherever you see maybe a really poorly empty spot. And remember, I only got a few of these, so we're just going to make them stretch. So, we're going to turn it a little more. We have one there, even though that's empty, although that's too low. Pull that up. There we go. And then we're going to add one here. There's a hole here. We're just going to fill them. You guys, they don't have to be the same length. Remember, that was just our guide. And then we'll go ahead and we'll add one here, even though it's closer to that one. We may take that one out, and yes, we're going to. And I tell you why. Oops. I have two of these left, and I have a whole side here that has none of these colors in it. So we want to make sure whatever color we have here, we have here, we have here, we have here. Okay, so that spot, we just have something else in it. Go ahead, and we're going to turn it a little more. I'm going to add this one right here. Come on. If it'll let me. Remember, if they split, don't worry about it. 
cut that it off. And you still got your little wire there. And just find the part that it goes in and stick it in there. There you go. Adjust it. Okay. So now we got one more of these flowers here. And we're just going to add. You know what? Why don't we add one at, towards the top since we don't have any? And I will show you that. I will tilt it over and show you. We're just going to add this little guy right in here towards the top because we don't have any thing up towards that top. So now we got a real simple flower arrangement. I saw that hole there when I did that. It must have been when I turned it. Okay, there we go. Real simple little flower arrangement. And yeah, some places can use a little more flowers. We do have a purple. I have not pre-cut this. At this point, everything in this is pretty much even. Let me raise that up. Oh, you can see the project, not me. There you go. Everything in this is pretty much even where they're at. But now here's a clincher. You can keep making it even. Or you can do something totally off the wall. And find other little things that you want to add in there. Like maybe you did have the extra one or two of these. And you have a hole. You can use them. Just put them right in there. And put a little flower in there. If you have to, you can add more greenery. Adjust some of your other flowers to fill the spot. Sometimes it's the just the rule of threes. But you know what? Sometimes rules don't apply in something like this. And I tell you, the reason why is you want to carry out what makes you happy. So if you want that extra flower in there, you put that extra flower in there. Oh, look, I found one more. This is the one with the two. And I said we didn't need to use it. You know what? Here's a nice empty spot. Let me turn this around for you. We'll go ahead and use it right in this empty spot. So technically we still have those woods of three. Well, one's a two, but we won't tell nobody. And we'll just turn it to face that way. We'll just use it up. Now at this point, you can go ahead and you can add like a ribbon or more flowers or baby breath. Now, there's a better baby breath. With the baby breath, I do not have a lot of it because I use it in all my other projects. Let me pull up my glass and me look over there. Ooh, why did I see that before? Hold that thought, guys. This is awesome. <gasps> My brain thinks too much. <laughs> okay. So what I'm doing is I just saw, well, I was sitting on there, picture one sit. There they are. Some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flowers that I just love these things. So give me a second while I gain them out of my supply here. I love this kind of stuff. Come on, come with me. Come. Give it. Okay. Let's pick you up. You're not so cool. Don't want to waste. All right. What I saw over there was some things sticking through. Like these little things, but these ones are pink. But I was after these. Now with these, I haven't tried it this way, but we're going to try it. And if we don't like it, pull it out. It's okay. We get these cut. My wire cutters are not the bloody best, let me tell you. Dollar Tree special, so put it around that plastic. There we go. And then we'll just go back and forth, take it off. I can't remember what these are called. I'm so sorry. But I just love these things. When my sisters and I were little, especially the one closer to my age, when we find these things, we just had so much fun with these things. They're just so beautiful. So what I'm going to do with this, because they do remind me of a better time in my childhood, I'm going to add this to my little panel here. 
and just get it in a just a wee bit just enough to have it sticking up just a few little places nothing fancy and it gives me the white that I wanted so let me go ahead and cut this one off we will definitely put all three pieces in there Oops, come on let go they just don't they're not meant to do in this type, but I'm going to make them more because I like them. So here we go. Here's our third one. Second one, excuse me. We'll put it on this side. You find my way way down in here. Just to make it stick up. Just enough to show you that. Hey, look. Look what's there. Ooh, just the flowers. I got two little things sticking out there. I wish I could see the other ones because I know I got more of these. Oh, yeah, I do see them. You know what? They look like little tiny spider eggs, eggs underneath all my flowers. Huh. Okay. Well, at least now I know we can add more. So that's cool. I am going to go ahead and cut this at the right about here. I'm just using scissors to cut through the plastic because these are not the greatest. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this work. So, no, just hit me, huh? I'm going to go ahead and take the third one. And this is probably the longest of the two. So let's see exactly where I might put this. I gotta, can't see with my glasses. I really don't know who's on here, if anybody. We're just going to poke this little guy right in here. Make him go. Okay, so you see how that's going? Oh, no, you don't. Let me pull this back. So you see the little white stuff just kind of sticking in there, sticking out. I don't like this one. It's going out. And I may take those out. But that's okay. Before we decide, we're going to go ahead and add some of our little baby breaths. So, before we do that, before we decide to, we don't like it, let's just finish filling it up. Now, when you're doing these things, you don't always have to put baby breaths in. There's no law saying you have to have baby breaths. Um, I did a friend of mine. She has since passed away, unfortunately. She had stage 4 cancel and she fought a long hard battle she died at 20 I want to say she was 26 these kids grow so fast you guys shares every minute of your grandchildren your children they grow too fast so she passed away but I did her bridal flowers and all that Her mom is one of my dear friends. I love them dearly. Her mom and dad. Um, even though I don't get to see them often or talk to them often, I know they're there. And that's what's important. I'd like to be able to spend more time with them, but unfortunately, sometimes you just don't live close enough. All right, so here's all things. And I noticed this one somehow got pink on it. We'll debate that one. Let me set it up here. So here's our little pieces of flower uh, baby breath. We're just going to stick them in. This is not my favorite type of baby breath. This is like someone did a crappy job at making them. But we're going to use these anyways because we do need some white in here. And all I'm going to do with this, you guys, is stick them right in there wherever there is an opening. And then readjust the flowers around them. They can go in further. You can make them band however you want to do it and if I had more of this I would use a wee bit more than what we're going to be able to right now we'll go ahead and stick this one maybe right about here and then once again if you don't like something remember they're not glued so there's no reason why you can't take them out rearrange it or just take it out totally it's totally up to you we're going to add this little guy right here to I can find my way through all the leaves I put in there. Come on. I want you in there. Oh, it's going to make me dig. That's okay. I'll dig. Here we go. I know you can't see, but way down there, under all these beautiful flowers, is hiding my little, there you go, my little twigs, my little foam. And that's what I'm trying to stick these in. I'm going to go ahead and add this one right about here. Come on, open up. 
that bloody thing in there. Come on, look. There you go. Okay, so at least I got this on the four corners. Just enough to get that white to pop. Um, the other baby breaths that you can use as well. So whatever color you got, however much you have of it, just use that if you want. And then, of course, if you decide you need it more flowers after all, just go ahead and go through your flowers and see what you do have available to you. And you can always add more to it. And I have like three more of these. I, if that don't break. Okay. Why don't we go ahead, because I can see a spot or two. Let's just use up these three. I mean, might as well, right? And it's the rules of thirds, so we'll just go ahead and we'll do that. Get that started so I can bend it there. Let's get a hold of it. All I'm doing when I'm cutting these off is I'm just going back and forth, you guys. I get it started with either the um, the wire cutters or scissors, and I'm just going back and forth. I'm just going to take out the last three, wipe throw them away. There's three left, right? We'll use them. And we'll take those last three. Okay. Move those out of my way. And go ahead and, oh, I'm sorry. There was, oh, no, we can't use that one. There's three. That one had pink. So we're going to go ahead and stick these in here somewhere. Remember, these are baby breaths. They do not have to be at the same it doesn't have to be perfect all the way around is what I'm trying to say. So we're just going to look around and debate where we might need to add one of these. And then we're just going to poke that little buddy right in there. And it'll just make our little thing pop just a little more. And we have one left. And looky here. Looky there. Oh, that one's kind of a bad one. You know what? Maybe we should just use the pink since it's mine. And I'll just twist it that way. And maybe you won't see that pink on it. And we'll go ahead... And we'll just put that right in here. If I can get it to let me in. No, nope, I'll open it. Okay. Get it to go in the foam. And then go where I want it to go. There we go. Then you just go around, you check all your flowers, make sure they're how you want them, where you want them. And if you see any major big spots that need something. Don't be afraid to add it, and don't be afraid to readjust. Um, you can tear it apart and do it however you want. So I'll give you guys a better look at it. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I'm not going to put a ribbon or nothing in it. Like I said, it's just going to sit on my table. Let me just turn around so you guys can see all sides. This is what I meant by using the triangle method. So the method for five, your top which is usually always the tallest, okay? And then your sides, sides. The only way that my sides will be longer depends on the type of flower design you're making. Or if this is tall, it depends on if I want my, my arrangement to be as a triangle shape like that, then the very top one would be the tallest. But since we just wanted it kind of round, just to fill up that empty spot in my living room and give it color. This is what we got. It's a real simple flower arrangement. And once again, it is fake uh, flowers. So that if you have any issues with it, you can rinse them off. If you had to, throw them away. Or if you decide you don't like any more, you can tear the flowers out. Redo it with more flowers, add bows, ribbons, whatever you want. But once again, now we got a pretty colorful flower arrangement. So hopefully this will look well in my living room. I will let you guys know. Bring you over here. I do thank you guys for joining me. I know it was a fast live, but we just need to make something simple today. And we will get back to our nude here. Or oh, excuse me, not the nude. She's over there. Can't show her. We will get back to our creature real soon. And as always, be blessed.